Welcome back to Hannity. So the president's at it again tonight, criticizing America, even though this country has given him incredible and a multitude of opportunities. Here's the latest example. We know that some communities have the odds stacked against them and have had the odds stacked against them for a very long time, in some cases for decades. In some communities, that sense of unfairness and powerlessness has contributed to dysfunction in those communities. Then his friend Jay-Z went on a rant about the police at a concert on Saturday where he said, well, I can't tell how they killed Freddie Gray, right? Shot down Mike Brown, how they did Trey, right? Let him uh, continue choking it. Boop, bleep. We're going to turn style. I ain't your token. Bleep. Um, with America and all, he's the president of the United States. You heard Michelle Obama's speech. They're friends here, their statements. We know about Mike Brown and Trayvon Martin. We actually have facts in these cases. Why do they feel this way? They're masters of social agitation. Yeah. They profit from sowing division. They profit from sowing the seeds of resentment, both class warfare yeah. and racial resentment. And it is a dangerous idea the American idea that people can lift themselves up and they do not need to depend on government. So what are they all doing? Jay-Z and Michelle well, Obama making up her tall tales of, of racial discrimination, things that never happened to I, this woman, I, I didn't right? even introduce you. I was so worked up. Michelle Malkin is with us. By the way, a brand me. new book, and it is an incredible book. Who built that? The awe-inspiring stories of American tinkerpreneurs. Um, and this is what I got out of this book. This book is amazing. You talk about... Uh, the guy that came up with bottle caps, for example, in this book. And I'm reading this. If you build a better mousetrap, America will open its door to you. The, the guy, the carrier, the air conditioner guy you talk about in the book, and so many, so many others, you dedicate the book to Obama. I did, and I hope that he will read this book. I have been told by uh, reporters it's been written that he actually does read my work. So we're sending oh. him a copy to the White House uh, because he inspired this book. Um, this was my rejoinder against the kind of wealth shaming, the wealth shaming agenda of not only Obama, but the progressives and, uh, and Biden and Elizabeth Warren. That phrase, you didn't build that, is something that has festered over the last several years. And we've seen it erupt over just the last yeah. couple of, so, of weeks. He calls our achievers, our top achievers, our, our nation of builders and makers, society's lottery winners as if it's some sort of random Powerball that people work themselves See, I to learned death. a lot. I, I mean, I have my air conditioner, but I remember life without it when I was a kid. And you talk about the, st the, the story of, of Carrier. You talk about those that created some of our most famous bridges. You talk toilet paper. Who would have thought, think about life without toilet paper. All right, <laughs> That's I don't right. Know. But these are all great inventions. But this, this book was inspired by Obama saying this. If you got a business, that, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. That's just not true. Yeah, of course not. And it is against the grain of our founding fathers' principles that people own. People own and should profit from the fruits of their labor and the fruits of their minds. Immediately following that quote was something even worse, where he was denigrating and mocking people and saying that people who had made it in our country were not as smart as everybody else, didn't work as hard as everyone else. Of course they did. They were a heck of a lot smarter than you, Barack Obama. That's why they've made well, so see, much money became, and fulfilled people's wants and he needs. He became president. Jay-Z, Beyonce, they're like royalty in America, for mm -hmm. crying out loud. And, and his background is not the best either. Um, and I look at all these stories that you have, and each story is an incredible, I have a friend of mine, one of the inventor of the year. These are bright, intuitive tinkerers, as you say, that make our lives easier. And you're right, why are they being demonized? Why, why is he diminishing? There's gotta be a psychology here to diminishing their great accomplishments. It's the narcissism of Washington, D.C. It's that beltway mentality that these politicians are the ones that create jobs and create wealth and invest things. These, these government bureaucrats and these poli political hacks they take people's money. They do not make money. They no. do not create wealth. And so, you know, I started out very angry. I, and I talked about, I joke about in the, in the introduction about how I, you know, I'm known as that angry brown lady that's always yelling at liberals. But ultimately, this is a joyful book. Because really, I learned this a lot. is what we need to, this is what conservatives and free market capitalists and people who need to stand up and defend themselves from this kind of well, politics of contempt. I'm sick of it, and that's why I wrote the book. I love and I this 
book. Kids it is a, especially to know about it. It is a know great rebuttal to that statement, and it's called Who Built That? All Inspiring Stories of American Tinkerpreneurs by our good friend Michelle Malcolm. We haven't seen you in a while. Welcome know, back. Big great to have you. I'm so glad to be back. Thanks, All right, man. thank you. And coming up, the always hilarious Jeff Foxworthy in studio. Straight ahead.